Hello everyone, welcome to Best Galaxy Australian Breaking News, my name is Best Galaxy Australia 2, there are half of Christmas Day. News 1, Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban has blocked a 50 billion euro EU aid package for Ukraine, hours after leaders sidestepped his opposition to agree to open talks with Kiev on joining the bloc. A crunch summit in Brussels broke up after a day of wrangling as the Hungarian leader refused to green light funding to help Ukraine's government over the next four years. News 2, Barry Humphreys has been remembered as an interstellar talent by everyone from royalty to giants of the entertainment industry at a state memorial service at the Sydney Opera House. In a written statement, King Charles III described the comedian as a cultured and erudite man who poked and prodded us, exposed us to tensions, punctured pomposity, surfaced insecurities, but most of all made us laugh at ourselves. News 3, the EU has made a historic decision to open accession talks with Ukraine and Moldova but the tense summit in Brussels has underscored the difficulties ahead for the bloc as it plans to let more members join. News 4, three new films attempt to address the Holocaust. But can cinema ever hope to adequately confront humanity's darkest chapter? Jonathan Friedland Jonathan Friedland At Friedland Friday the 15th of December 2023 5.00 GMT Cinema has a troubled relationship with the Holocaust. It is repeatedly drawn to the subject which seems to offer a shortcut to moral gravity, emotional depth and the highest possible stakes elements every storyteller yearns for and yet there is so much that can go wrong. For one thing, the very act of depicting the horror of the Nazi murder of six million Jews risks minimizing it. To pick one crude example, no matter how extreme a diet an actor might undertake, they can never resemble the Muselmanner, the walking skeletons who populated the death camps. Whatever can be shown on screen will always be less hellish than the reality. News 5, soon after limited Sunday trading started in the Netherlands, an anglophile shopkeeper in the small city of Deventer decided it could all be a bit more fun. My 82-year-old mother, Emmy Strick, is England-minded because my grandfather always went to England and read a lot of Dickens, said her daughter, Lisbeth Feltus, who now runs the Dill and Camille homeware store. News 6, the number of people who died in traffic incidents in Africa rose by 17% in the past decade despite global road traffic deaths falling by 5%, according to the World Health Organization. The Road Safety Report found that nearly one in five fatal traffic incidents across the world occurred in Africa. Part of the reason for increased fatalities in Africa is the increase in the number of vehicles on the roads, said Nan Tran, leader of WHO's Safety and Mobility Unit and the lead author of the report. People who were not able to afford a vehicle 10 or 20 years ago can now buy one. Africa has seen a big increase in motorization, but the infrastructure to facilitate it is not there. Road traffic incidents are the ninth most common cause of death in Africa, according to the WHO. News 7, the leaders of Guyana and Venezuela promised in a tense meeting that neither side would use threats or force against the other, but failed to reach agreement on how to address a bitter dispute over a vast border region rich with oil and minerals that has concerned many in the region. Instead, a joint commission composed of the foreign ministers of both countries and other officials will address the problem, with a report expected within three months. News 8, Argentina has devalued its currency, the peso, by more than 50% as part of a package of large-scale spending cuts intended to address the country's worst economic crisis in decades. The plans, introduced under the newly inaugurated administration of Javier Milley, include cutting energy subsidies and cancelling tenders for public works. And finally, News 9, a recent killing spree in the Mexican border city of Tijuana could have been lifted from a TV script, enraged drug lords hunting down corrupt police officers who stole a drug shipment. Two of the officers suspected of the theft have been killed, prosecutors say. But so have at least three other officers, according to the city's former police chief, suggesting the cartel believed to have owned the drugs may have launched a generalized, OK guys, it's time to commercial break, see you in a few seconds.
aboard Stepford Express, we have destinations such as Leighton Stepford Road, West Wyvern, and our newly renovated Lynn by the Sea. Ride our new Class 801s or our newly refurbished Class 43s. Ride in style in first class with free access to the buffet and boat lounges in Stepford Central and Lynn by the Sea. If you're on a budget, ride our standard class, complete with USB ports for each person and comfortable seats. Stepford Express, fast train approaching. Welcome aboard Stepford Connect. We have frequent services to Stepford Victoria, West Coast, and even more frequent services to Upper Staple. Stepford Connect is known for having the most on-time trains in. No, why are you showing that? No, cut that off, cut it off. There we go. As I was saying, Stepford Connect is known for having the most on-time trains in Stepford. Stepford Connect is also known as the safest operator in Stepford. David, why are you doing that again? I will fire you if you do that one more time. As I was saying, Stepford Connect is the safest operator in Stepford. So choose Connect. Love Connect. Stepford Connect. It's probably faster than... Oh, wrong script. Stepford Connect, the most reliable and safest operator in Stepford. Welcome aboard Waterline. We have spectacular destinations such as Greenslade, Eden Key, and the Grand Benton. We also have some amazing trains such as the Class 379 and the Class 195. Waterline is known for having the most services in the Benton area. Bye. Cut the off commercial. Coming soon to the Los Santos Convention Center, it's Mike Andrews. Poor people, stop complaining. Start living. You can't take the money with you when you die. Even I can't. He's changed millions of lives with his book, Rags Are Riches. This all-day seminar features workshops on cooking potatoes, dumpster diving, huffing paint, bathing alternatives, and pharmaceutical baking. Instead of complaining about being poor, lady, enjoy it. Mike, I can't feed my kids, and the rent's due. Whoa, bitch, settle it down. Are you saying this ain't the greatest country in the world? Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, everyone. USA, USA, USA. Hear Mike's favorite program, such as There's No Rich People, The Rich Are Miserable, Play Harmonica, and Expect Less, Achieve More. See Mike Andrews live for only $200, payable in 10 installments. Reserve your seat today. The off commercial. Germs are running scared. Last year, communists killed 34 hard-working Americans. But germs killed over 25 million people. Your home, much like America, is constantly under attack from germs. And we all know what germs cause dyslexia and leprosy. Thank goodness, there's blocks. Blocks sends germs running like refugees. Just add a few tablespoons to your child's bath and put them in the tub. <laughs> Presto! That tingling sensation is germs dying. Now your child has rosy red skin and is 100% germ-free. Now that means little Jimmy won't catch a cold or ask difficult questions about reproduction. That's even great for Rover's breath. <laughs> now we're sleeping peacefully, free from germs. Blox is endorsed by the Society for a Cleaner America. It uses a patented formula developed by the Pentagon for use in the field. Now it's available for your home. Some germs hate acid. Some germs hate bleach. Blox kills indiscriminately. I love my kids more than anything. Which is why mom keeps me clinically obese, so I won't run away. That's where Kate comes in. My sister's son got to 18 and just ran away. She was brokenhearted. Now me and little Joshua celebrate every day with Kate. He's my number one and he knows it. Now he's not running anywhere. Why not celebrate with Kate every day? Celebrate Kate. They say living in Los Santos is the equivalent of smoking a pack a day. If that's the case, then I want a choice in the matter. So I chose Redwood. 
I used to sell my body for drug money on the streets. Now I've cleaned up and have a wife and go to church. And I owe it all to Redwood cigarettes. Sometimes when I get really stressed out, I beat my children with anything I can lay my hands on. Since I tried Redwoods, I find a way to relax 20 or 30 times a day. I know it's bad for me, but what's more important, me or my children? Stress kills millions of people each year and causes divorces, automobile accidents, and even war. When stress is about to get you, get a Redwood. Redwood Cigarettes, proud sponsor of the LS City Marathon. It's a career that lasts a lifetime. A career where you're always on the winning team. Put your skills to work in the military. I was on the streets, in a gang, shooting people and running drugs. Now, I'm making something of myself. I kill people and run drugs for the CIA. In this job, you not only help yourself, you help your country. Only in the military would a teenager be given responsibilities like driving a nuclear submarine, maneuvering a tank, or dropping high ordnance explosives. Make a change for yourself in the military. I was in college constantly getting into pointless fights I didn't understand about nebulous concepts and belief systems. I got tired of arguing about what's right, so I dropped out of college and joined up. Now I know I'm right in the military. Learn confidence. I was having fantasies about stabbing people. Now I can do it for my country. Live the military life. Positions are unexpectedly vacant every day. In fact, I'm about to give up my well-paid job as a voiceover actor in order to sign up and be shouted at by a lot of sexually confused skinheads. I want excitement. And what could be more exciting than shitting yourself while getting shot at in the jungle? Certainly beats sitting in this booth all day. Be number one. Turn your life around in the military. Lager. The beer that brought the forest down. I drive an exotic imported sports car. I eat exotic foreign food like frankfurters and pizza. But when it comes to numbing my mind, I'm a patriot. I drink the beer that brought the forest down. I'm a lager man. And with the new 80 bottle trunk pack, you've got enough for the evening. Last night, I crapped in my bed and pissed in the closet. Hey, it's happy hour somewhere. Lager brings out the patriot in you. You think you're American, but do you drink American? Lager. The beer that brought the forest down. I like to relax after a hard day at work. And I like to relax hard. Get really drunk. So drunk, you can't tell your sister from your wife. Now that's fun. And now I can do it without gaining pounds. Thanks to new Lager Light. Drink even more, gain less. It's the Lager Light promise. At first, the guys were like, I didn't know you drank light beer. Are you gonna start wearing dresses and drinking wine coolers too? Well, then I explained it facilitated alcoholism without the attendant weight gain, and they really switched. Now we're all lager men. Lager light, we're light in the beer, not in the loafers. Look at that, the Hendersons are getting a new fence. Ah, who cares, they're swingers. I want a new fence. We just got one two years ago after your parents were killed. I want a new fence. That's it, we're never having sex again. Need a home loan fast? At the American Bank of Los Santos, we'll help you get the debt you need to make life easier. We'll show you how to look richer and be poorer. Your home is your equity. What exactly are you saving it for? You need to impress people fast, not in 20 years. It's only a risk if you get into money troubles or the economy changes, which doesn't seem likely. We know living in the suburbs is a constant competition, where you're defined by your lawn and your siding. Call American Bank of Los Santos when you need to add a rec room addition with a jungle swing or a jacuzzi for eight. Now that the kids have moved out and have drug problems of their own, maybe it's time to install a luxury marble wet bar so you can get drunk in private. American Bank of Los Santos. Dreams take money. Why worry about tomorrow if you look inadequate today? Coming soon to the Los Santos Convention Center, it's Mike Andrews. Understand, Understand that it's, it's okay, okay to be poor. There need to be poor people. We rich are the yin, you are the yang. We need you. He's changed millions of lives with his book, Rags Are Riches. Now hear Mike Andrews live. Mr. Andrews, I I've had a run of bad luck, and I was wondering if the state could help me get back on my feet. This is the negative kind of self-obsessed and greedy talk that doesn't help anyone. My program will teach you a new outlook on life. Instead of complaining about being poor, enjoy it. Watch TV. Don't vote. Who cares? But I'm homeless. 
You've got it all wrong. Society doesn't owe you anything. The government has better things to worry about, like killing innocent people. You already have everything you need, so enjoy your life. See Mike Andrews live for only $200, payable in 10 installments. Reserve your seat today. There's a war going on in the streets. It's the War on Thirst. Splunk is winning the War on Thirst with the new grenade-shaped can. Hey, yo, pull the pin and blow your thirst right off in that brand new taste explosion. Boom! Now that's the sound of refreshment. Sprunk, go AWOL from the Cola Wars with an energizing mix of lemon, lime, ten times the caffeine and sugar. Plus, mercury and benzene for that extra pop. Yo, it'll bring the temperature right up. And the bubbles. Other beverages use carbon dioxide. We use ether to kick up that phase. Thanks to all that mercury, you won't remember anything that tasted so good. Now pick up a Sprunk Thermal Nuclear Six Pack. Kill thirst and liven up the party. Toss your friends a Sprunk in the grenade shaped can and enter the Sprunk sweepstakes where you can win a real case of grenades. Sprunk, blow your thirst right off in that brand new taste explosion. Dito na tayo sa Kung saan lahat ay okay sa Jurain Lahat dito ay super bull Lahat mga maganda dito sa Jurain Sa Jurain Napatunan na ng bayi Wala namang iba Quality shopping ang aming dala Mapapajurain talaga kayo Sa supermarket namin Ay Jurain Ooh San Andreas just can't get enough of the Glory Hole theme park. Glory Hole, we're strangers become friends. Glory Hole, you don't need to know names. It's the place for magic and adventure. We all like speaking rodents to entertain and educate our kids. And now with Jerry Gerbil, the kids have someone they can really relate to. Kids, come and play. I've got puppies to show you. Yay, Yay Jerry's speaking rodent. rodent. Go on, kids, have fun. I know it's safe. Jerry's wearing a latex bodysuit. See you later, Mom! We're off to have fun with strangers! Glory Hole! Money's worth it! Ride the log flume! Live the adventure of the Flaming Screen Machine! Glory Hole Theme Park! Glory Hole! Open every day till 3 a.m. Come live the mystery! Hello everyone, Best Galaxy Australian Weather at the Friday of week, let's get about the weathers, Australian region. This one, Brisbane has the weather of rain, the next few hours will be thunderstorms and rain, this is 34 degrees Celsius, the current temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. This one, Sydney has the weather of sunny, the next few hours will be partly cloudy, this is 26 degrees Celsius, the current temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. This one, Melbourne has the weather of mostly cloudy, the next few hours will be cloudy, this is 23 degrees Celsius, the current temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. Due to weather issue delays, we will continue for the News 10. News 10, a Canadian man who allegedly helped more than a dozen young people across the province of Ontario kill themselves by mailing them poison has been charged with 14 counts of second-degree murder, police said on Tuesday. News 11, it is a precipitous moment for Venezuela and Guyana this week as they meet to address the long-standing dispute over the Esequibo region. Leaders from both nations have said they will come to the table with the Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, the St. Vincent and Grenadines Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalves, and the UN Secretary-General Antonio Guterres. News 12, 
An evening rush hour accident on the Basing Metro left 102 people with fractures after a re-end collision on an above-ground section of tracks, state media said. The Chinese capital, where such incidents are rare, has been hit by snowstorms in recent days, affecting operating conditions and resulting in transport delays across the city. The accident occurred just before 7 p.m. Thursday, when the last two cars of a metro train separated from the carriages in front of them, authorities initially reported. News 13, the U.S. Congress has passed legislation allowing the country to sell Virginia-class submarines to Australia under the AUKUS Security Pact. Sweeping legislation covering a wide range of military priorities including AUKUS passed the U.S. House of Representatives on Thursday Washington time, a day after it cleared the Senate. The development has been warmly welcomed by the Australian government, which had hoped to secure the legislative tick before the U.S. entered the politically charged environment of a presidential election year. The Deputy Prime Minister, Richard Miles, said Australians could, have a sense of confidence about this multi-decade arrangement actually coming to pass because of the strong bipartisan votes in the US Congress. We are on the precipice of historic reform that will transform our ability to effectively deter, innovate, and operate together, he said. Members will record their vote by electronic device. Pursuant to Clause 9 of Rule 20, this five-minute vote on the motion to suspend the rules and agree on the conference report on H.R. 2670 will be followed by a five-minute vote on the motion to suspend the rules and pass H.R. 2365. This is a five-minute vote. On this vote, the yeas are 310, the nays are 118, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended. The conference report is agreed to, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. News 14. Prince Harry has landed a significant blow in his battle with the British tabloid press, after winning a substantial part of his phone hacking case and damages against the Daily Mirror. In a judgment that will have profound implications for the British media landscape, a high court judge has ruled that there was extensive phone hacking by Mirror Group newspapers from 2006 to 2011, even to some extent, during the Levison inquiry into media standards. Mr Justice Fancourt found that 15 out of 33 articles related to the OK guys, see you tomorrow for Saturdays and Viral Vibes return.